from Mac Land Cadets. Today we're going to show you, I have a Cyclops 2084 and we're going to remove the seat and the fenders. Uh, the first time I did this job, it turned out to be, uh, I was very confused about it and I'll show you how to do it and you'll have to take the fenders off if you own one of these machines to work on the fuel uh, lines or the cushion belt on the hydrostat and I'll show you how to do it. Uh, you've got to be very delicate with it, but the first procedure I always recommend, you do not have to do it to take the fenders off, but I take the wheels off to make it a lot easier. So we're going to do that first. Now I'm going to use the ear wrench to take them off so it'll be a little bit loud. Takes three quarters, socket, get right into my handy dandy. Now these are the tools you're going to need for the position job. Um, I'll explain them. I'll tell you exactly uh, when we go through them, what we're going to need and when. But we'll take the wheels off first. We'll take the wheels off. You'll need a three quarters. Now, if you have a 1440 or a 1641, you can do this a lot easier because it doesn't have a 26-inch wheels on it. It has a 23 10-50 12s on it, so it makes it a little bit easier. Now, make sure you get your jack in And then we'll come over to the other side. I'll take the wheel off. I'll tip it just a tad. Yes, I won't. side here. I'm going to tip it. Put the jack stands underneath. Take the wheel off. And I'm going to remove the jack completely. The lever right up. Now the fuel cap and unhook the lights will be the last thing we do. Make sure we have it on there sturdy. The next step you want to do is you want to just peel these floorboards or pads back. And you want to make sure that you peel them back so these pegs here are out. And I'll show you why. Because there's two bolts on the front side of the fenders on the lower portion that if them pegs are still there, it'll hurt you taking the quarter inch bolts off. Okay, so right here we have two bolts that go underneath in the fenders to the floorboard right in this area right here, and they have to be removed. We're going to do that first. Now, last year here, um, I had a fuel leak with my 2086, and I thought, well, I can repair it without removing the fender. Well, I found out you couldn't. I remember once I also bought uh, a Super Cub, bought it reasonable because the gentleman did not want to take the fenders off. And it really isn't that big a job to take them off. I am in the salvage business, so I take them apart on a daily occurrence, but this one here has nice bright paint on it. I really like this machine and think about keeping it. Because in a future video, you're going to see my 2086. And my 2086, the paint isn't quite as nice as this, but I really like a 2086 because it has a Kawasaki motor in it. Now when you take them floor 
four pads off, make sure you don't just yank on them because you do not want to destroy them calves whatsoever. Um, because when you go to put them back on, if you bend them over, uh, they just won't go into place quite as easily. So we're going to swing around and we have two screws to take off on the center tunnel. Now this is your center tunnel right here. These are very expensive. You do not want to crack them. And this is one of the few Super Cubs I ever have came, that came in that is not cracked in any way, shape, or form. So you need a Phillips. And you take this off. Now, if you have an 1872, this is steel. So right here is your screws right there. I'm gonna put them right there. I'm gonna come back over to the other side, take this one off. Now this piece here, you really, I mean, you really have to be delicate with. I'm gonna put the seat back, and I'm gonna take this off. There's no screws in the front, but as you can see, they'll flex you a little bit coming off. But right there's the piece. Now we're into your fan area, and this is where your hydraulics are. This is where your controls for your uh, hydrostat are. Here's your leveling if you have a Super Cub. They have the leveling. Tells you your position of your deck. So next we're going to go to taking the seat off. Now the front screws here are the toughest and you're going to need a quarter inch Allen and you're going to need a half inch wrench to do it. Right here's your tools. You're gonna to reach right underneath. There's a nut right on the bottom side here. so you can, uh, if you get them lined up. Now I'm gonna show you a trick that uh, I made a mistake on once. And that you, when you're putting these fenders back on, you have to really be cautious, because I had a machine, got it all back together, and thought I had everything quite right, and I pinched the wiring harness at a dead shore. Um, had a little bit of heat, I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm doing this in live time. So it's a little bit of a job. I do it with air mainly because it makes it a heck of a lot easier. But you can do it with any basic hand tools. Okay, next thing you do is take your seat, and you go all the way down, and you dip it up. Then we're down, here's the, hy uh, the, the, the hydrostat dipstick, and here's the rear seat Allen. Now these don't have nuts on the bottom side. You're gonna have your wiring underneath here too. For your seat switch. unless this one's been bypassed, but I don't think it has. I'm gonna tip it up. And right there's all your wiring. Right here, you unhook this one. Tweak me a little bit. I doubt if these have ever been off. This machine's around a 97 area. Let me get a screwdriver. Just be patient with everything that it all works out. Mice have been in there. 
there. Okay, next you have, right here, you have your fuel tank gauge right here. You have to unhook that. Now, another good thing to do is to kind of work this grommet a little bit. And you're going to see why. Because this grommet is there. When you put them back on, you're going to fold that and put it in from this side. Okay. Now we have the lights and the fuel cap to remove. Obviously, everyone can remove a fuel cap. We're going to flip them up slowly. And now we're into the rear light. Now this light here has already been disconnected. That one is now disconnected. And we're going to bring it up through. And this is where it gets pretty hairy. Make sure you do not disturb these wires. And there's your fenders. I put the fuel cap right on. One thing I don't recommend is put a rag down in the fuel tank. If you put a rag down in and you lose it in there, and now you're in big trouble. Um, your fenders hold your fuel tank in, and I'm going to show you that right here now. Right there, this has almost a full tank of fuel. But right here's your cushion valve. If you're going to do that, you can do it from the side. Don't get me wrong, you can get it. But with this, you're right in there, and you can get it a lot easier. Well, I thank you very much for reviewing. Uh, last night, I bought a 782. When this uh, video uh, airs, I'm going to have a 782 as my next winter project here. Thank you very much for tuning in. Please like and subscribe. Have a great day.